All right, so let's clean up this cast iron pan. You can see that there's um, a little bit of build up in the bottom from our bacon pieces. So what we're going to do is uh, make sure that it's cool to the touch. Warm is okay. Um, you don't want it hot because if you run it under the water it might crack. So just make sure that it's nice and cool to the touch. Turn our water on. We want a slightly warmer than a lukewarm water. Um, just go ahead and rinse our pan out to begin with here. We don't want to use hot water because that could expand the metal and actually soak some of the water up into the pan and start to uh, rust it. So that's why we want to use a medium, uh, lukewarm, medium water. Go ahead and give it a rub out with your fingers and try to break up anything that you can. That rinse most of it out. You can still see there's a little bit on the bottom here. Um, so we're going to use our Lodge cast iron scraper. And these come in a two pack from Lodge and they work really well and they don't damage the surface at all. So just go ahead and after you get your initial rinse done, go ahead and use your scraper. Give it a, a scrape there and this works for anything that you just previously cooked. Look at that, it just comes right off. And this is already after we have a good uh, seasoning start to build up on the on the pan here. Feel around for any hard uh, surface areas or edges that you might need to get better. Rinse it out again. And you can feel surprisingly well with your fingers if there's anything else that needs to be scraped off. So just give it a nice um, feel around the whole surface. There's something right there. Remember also when we're cleaning cast iron that we don't want to use any soap products. Um, water is fine. Water and the scraper work perfectly well. Um, the soap products will start to deteriorate your nonstick seasoning and the good flavor that's building up in your pans. Also, cast iron becomes sterile and pretty much is self-cleaned um, from any previous cooking that you might have done in it. If you clean it out with this rinse method and reseason method, and then when you when it comes up to cooking temperature, it actually sterilizes itself. Give a nice good rinse. As you're rinsing it, just kind of feel around one last time. Make sure that everything feels smooth, nothing stuck on there. And we should be pretty good. The surface area still feels really smooth, so that's great. Go ahead and give it a wipe down with your towel. Try to wipe up as much moisture as you can. And then we're going to throw this back onto the fire and heat it up to help evaporate any extra moisture that's left on the pan. Um, that'll ensure there's no moisture that gets trapped um, that might cause rust. Feels smooth. Throw it back on the burner here. And it might look like it's dirty, but that's just some seasoning building up in there. All right, back on the burner. We're just going to let it heat up for a little while. We want all that moisture to come out. And we also want to open up the metal. When my pan's ready to be seasoned, I usually just feel the handle. If you can feel heat coming into that handle, then you're good. Turn your heat off. Get your seasoning oil out. And put it on your... I use a dedicated rag for my seasoning oil. Squeeze a little bit on there. That's good just to recoat this. And then be careful, use your pot handle holder. And just give it a good wipe. Now be really careful with your fingers because this metal is hot. Make sure to wipe down and get all surfaces evenly. And we don't want to an excess amount of oil on here. We just want a light coating just to cover it. Looks good. Nice beautiful black again. Flip it over, don't forget the bottom. And of course your side areas.
and your handle. And you want to be careful with this. Oh, hot. It is hot. I've gotten quite a number of blisters from doing this. But it's worth it. So there we go. Cleaned and lightly oiled, ready to cook again. Just give it another wipe down to get any excess of oil out. And as the pan cools, it will soak the oil back into the pores and help to build up your seasoning and non-stick status. And there we go, nice black, slick cook surface again. Beautiful. Alright, pan's good to go. Thanks a lot.